Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're glad to be joined here at the studio by Dr. Jamal Eddin Ibrahim, political analyst. Good afternoon, sir, and thank Hi. you for joining us. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Uh, and uh, thank you, sir. And um, we're going to talk about the main uh, topic of the, of the day today, which is the speech of President Abdel Fattah El Sisi delivered uh, today, uh, where he mentioned Saudi Red Sea Islands, claims supported by state documents, and where he spoke about uh, mainly the two islands, uh, the Red Sea uh, two islands. Uh, what's your comment on uh, these uh, two uh, islands and what's your comment on the messages delivered by President El-Sisi during his speech today? I think it was a very smart move since these two islands are going to uh, go back to, uh, to, the Saudi, uh, uh, to the Saudi government and that would relieve these two islands from the imposition of uh, uh, of Camp David Agreement. No. So, so United Nations troops have to leave uh, because of Saudi Arabia is not part of Camp David. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a good idea. Right, uh, and what are the main messages that you think uh, that were delivered by uh, President El-Sisi through his speech today? Well, the message uh, goes for comforting uh, Egyptian people because to uh, many people thought these two islands are Egyptians, mm -hmm. and they were not. And I think Egypt have used these two islands uh, during 1950, uh, after the, um, the 1948 insertion mm -hmm. of the uh, Israeli troops. Mm -hmm. So I think I think it's it's it was burden on Egypt to to maintain these two islands, and now they can be relieved that they don't have them and they still can use them. Right. Uh, President Sisi also said that the controversy is caused by the difference between how the state deals with the issue and how the people take it from an individual perspective. How do you comment on this statement? Well, it's natural that people who are not uh, well familiar with the history of these two islands would, uh, would dislike that mm -hmm. it goes back to the ownership of Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have to understand history first and, and know also that we are going to use, uh, Egypt will have the, uh, the access to these two islands. In fact, the bridge is going to help a lot and it'll be more useful to Egypt than just having these two islands by themselves. Right. Uh, unfortunately, Dr. Ibrahim, we're uh, running out of time okay. and uh, we are glad to be joined uh, by you today. Many thanks for joining okay. us. Thank and you with this, much. we wrap up uh, this edition of World Today. Many thanks for joining us and stay tuned for more coming up here on Altiv International.